All right, it's Free Money Friday and Nina Pineda here with a megaphone <laughs> to talk about a viral trend that I think really fits our personality type, loud budgeting. <laughs> <laughs> and people are becoming loud and proud yeah. on what they will not spend their money on, but you've got some myth busting. You were about to break it down yeah, for us. Yeah, you know that this took off, you know? Yeah. And all of us are going to help. I've given you all seven myths. So let's get right to it. <laughs> Lauren, all right. the first one. Um, the first myth is that loud budgeting means telling everyone you're broke with or without a megaphone. Yeah. Well, it's not really about saying, you know, <laughs> everybody, I'm rock bottom. I have no money. <laughs> it's about being meaningful with your spending. So, you know, your savings goals that you might brag about one day, like, hey, I got to go on this bucket list trip. I had through a beautiful wedding or maybe I saved a lot of money in a, in a savings plan for my kids. So the declaration kind of helps you stay focused. Exactly. Okay. Uh, myth number two, in order to loud budget, you have to save every penny. Now who can really save Also that? not true. Yeah. It is about saying, you know what, maybe we're going to go out to a less expensive restaurant or, you know, Lauren, when, when you and I were in our 20s, we would go all to the, like, the best restaurants. And now, you know, that things are a little tighter. I, I never go to the best restaurants. I would rather, <laughs> you know, hang with you, make dinner at home, a potluck, maybe get a bottle of wine, yeah. have a good experience with you, get to really catch up, instead of us trying to be at the most trendy place. And don't yeah. deny it, we did go the Wait a minute, we weren't, weren't you just at Rayo's? Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's stay on track. Let's get in. Loud budgeting. Let's go to myth number three, Shirley. Myth number three, loud budgeting means you can't buy luxury. So this is another myth, okay? It's not about anti-luxury goods. Okay. It's about saying, you know, if this is something that's really something that's important to you, then buy all means. Save okay. your shekels for the Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed about it. Own it. Just say, I'm not going out because I'm saving for that Hermes link or something like that. So it's kind of a myth that this is anti-luxury. That's okay. not true. I want to afford those shoes. These are really actually on sale. It's really? Ooh. Yes. You know, anything you put on <laughs> looks like luxury. Um, okay, so now myth number four, loud budgeters hate the wealthy. <laughs> Ouch. Another myth. <laughs> It's not about hating the wealthy because yeah. the wealthy, how do you think they got wealthy? They are the original OG, but they just weren't loud about it. They were quiet about it. It was like okay. stealth wealth. Yeah. You know that quiet luxury that got popular with Succession? Yes. They'd be wearing the plain t-shirt that's actually $400 oh, and not the yeah. one that looks ostentatious. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's uh, that's what the creator of loud budgeting was really talking about. Yeah. Um, and that's what he said on TikTok. Let's hear from Lucas Battle. Okay. It's not I don't have enough, it's I don't want to spend. Loud budgeting has the same feeling as sneaking candy into a movie theater. You feel like you got away with something. You feel like you're on an adventure. You feel like you're coming out of the situation winning. So while quiet luxury is about idolizing celebrities, loud budgeting is about the everyday person, the average Joe. For me, loud budgeting, while it's trendy, it's something I've been doing for a really long time. I think there's nothing wrong with saying to friends, family, listen, I can't go to that fancy restaurant everyone wants to go to, so I'll sit out, or maybe can we do a potluck, or can we go somewhere that's budget friendly? I'm working on my budget right now, I'm digging myself out of debt. It's really about telling everyone where you are and what your goals are, maybe cheering them on as well. See, it's about cheering people on. There we go. I'm cheering you on, Danny. That's the spirit. <laughs> okay, I have another myth. Okay. This is myth number five. Loud budgeting is only for us poor. <laughs> Why are you saying us poors? You know, us poor people. No, it's not. It's definitely not. It's for people of all all financial backgrounds. Because one great quote I saw when looking uh, up researching the story was I pay a lot of money for my home, so that's where I'm going to be. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, Rent sense. and, and or your mortgage is the most expensive thing probably on your budget. Mm -hmm. So why not hang at home and say, guess what? I'm hanging at home. That makes me really happy, which feeds right into this next myth. Number six, loud budgeting makes you sad. <laughs> I love this. Loud budgeting. Is that is, a myth? No, you know what? Fear of missing out probably makes you sad. Oh, FOMO. But it's a myth. Loud budgeting is supposed to empower you. It's like a movement. So instead of FOMO, you actually say, hey, I'm controlling this. I am taking a handle of my finances. Hmm. And that is, should be giving you joy because you're actually 
you know, putting something in the pot for your future. So turn that frown upside down and maybe buy yourself a $10 matcha, which leads into our <laughs> final myth. Loud budgeting is backlash against millennials and Gen Zers who don't work hard and have dug themselves into holes buying $10 matchas, I put in air quotes, because we hear that all the time. Exactly. And, and just what Elizabeth was saying, look how expensive housing is. Yeah. You know, I talked to some millennials that were outside at the cafe, and they were saying, you know what, people are blaming us for all this, like, indulgence. They got out of school, yeah. they had crushing student debt, salaries were not going up, plus the, it was impossible to buy a house. Mm -hmm. So they're getting loud now to say, you know what, uh, we're, we're not going to be ashamed about this. You guys help get us in this, um, and we're going to start budgeting. And it doesn't matter how old you are or where you are or how much you have in your pocket. It just matters where you start, Danny. where I you start. I love it. <laughs> Nina, thank you so much. I'm a big budget girl, and I'm a big megaphone girl. Do you need this for the yeah, weather? I was a college cheerleader. So oh, I'm you're used to that. I'm loud enough. I'm loud. Thank go, you, Danny, go. All right. Go, Danny, go. We got to talk.